Hi friends. I wanted to stop in this morning and talk with you a little bit about the diaper sewing and the pa <clears throat> the patterns that we have for diaper sewing. Someone reached out to me last week and she was going to be a first time grandma and she was 10 kinds of confused just even what to do with all these pages. So I thought I'd make a quick video, um, just go over a little bit how to how to size them and cut them up and get them all ready. I know for people that have been doing it for years, it should be natural, but it, for some people that are just starting out with diaper making, it can be terribly confusing. First thing I want to tell you is when you go to print your pattern, you want to check this box. Print one page of the pattern and print it and make sure that this box is one inch. <clears throat> because if, if your printer resizes everything, it will resize, it will show up in this box. And so you want to make sure your one inch square is in fact one inch. The next thing you want to do to make sure when you print your pattern, you want to make sure that you have two of every piece if there's a fold involved. So this diaper is cut on the it, it <clears throat> pattern has only half the wing. So you need to have two halves of the wing. So you'll cut those out and you'll tape those two piece A's together and it'll look something like this. And then you're going to do the same thing, cut two piece B and it'll look, so then you have an hourglass shape at the end. You're gonna do that same thing with your contour or your soaker. In this particular pattern, this is the one step. It's a two step pattern, but this is step one. So you're going to um, print two of B and two of A so that when you tape this all together, you have your whole contour. This should help you get through uh, assembling your pattern. I think most of them, um, probably print out enough pages for you, but I just wanted to give a little update that, that so we'd have a, vet, a video here for reference. You ultimately are looking for this shape for your diaper, and the same is true for any pattern. And then for your contour, depending on the shape of the contour, the insert will be contoured like this. Um, and ultimately, you're looking for some sort of shape, size like this for your, your inserts. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We're glad to help. Have a great one.